Praise God. So the Lord has been talking to me about enlargement. El Señor me estaba hablando acerca de ser engrandecidos. Enlargement. Engrandecidos. Say that with me, enlargement. Diga conmigo, engrandecidos. Now look at your neighbor and say, be enlarged. Mira a su vecino y dígale, sé engrandecido. Now remember, in your tongue is the power of death and life. Ahora recuerde que en su lengua está la vida o la muerte. So when you speak to your neighbor, Entonces cuando usted le habla a su vecino, I want you to remember that you're speaking life. Quiero que recuerde que está hablando vida. I want you to remember that the Lord gave you power in your tongue. Recuerde que Dios le ha dado poder en su lengua. There is power lying on your tongue right now. Hay poder ahora mismo en su lengua. And when you begin to flow, of your tongue when you begin to speak you're releasing life or death so, so when you look at your neighbor right now and you release a flutter of life I want you to realize that you're releasing life I want you to realize that you're going to release life into somebody else you, you see as Christians we can't just speak to speak but we've got to speak to provoke people into the life of God. Vida en las personas. Amen. Amen. So now look at your neighbor. Ahora mire a su Come on, look at your neighbor. Vamos, mire you're going to speak life now. Get ready to speak life. Va a vida ahora mismo. With faith, you're going to release life. Con fe usted va a And vida. I want you to tell him, be enlarged. Y que le diga, Se be enlarged. Se be enlarged. Se Come on, now look at another neighbor. Ahora mira a otro And tell him, be enlarged. Y dígale, Come on, look at somebody else. Mira otra Don't persona. look at the same person. No, mira la misma persona. Be enlarged. Se engrandecido. Be enlarged. Se engrandecido. Be enlarged. Se engrandecido. Praise God. Alabado sea Dios. Now, if you believe that, you'd be a happy person right now. Ahora, si usted cree eso, usted sería una persona feliz. Because somebody just spoke life over you. Porque alguien le acaba de hablar vida. Somebody vidas, just changed your whole 2022. Alguien acaba de cambiar su vida. Somebody just made a difference in your life. Alguien le acaba de hacer una diferencia. Just by the word that you release from your tongue, something changed in their life. You got to be a game changer. Sitting on the bench. God called you to be a game changer. To change the bench, the game now. Praise God. Alabado sea Dios. Psalm 119.32 Salmo 119.32 I will run the course of your commandments for you shall enlarge my heart you shall enlarge my heart ensancharás mi corazón now that word enlarge esa palabra ensanchar it means an increase significa un incremento an increase of size un incremento de tamaño or an increase of bulk un incremento de grandeza and it is real y es real and it is apparent y es aparente that means you ain't gonna imagine it eso quiere decir que no se lo va a imaginar you ain't gonna think it's in the spirit no va a pensar que está en el espíritu it's going to be tangible va a ser tangible you're going to see it with your own eyes lo va a ver con su Other people will see it. Otra persona lo verá. When something is enlarged, cuando algo está siendo ensanchado, like a pregnant woman, como una mujer embarazada, you see her belly get large. Usted ve su estómago engrandecerse. You will begin to see. Usted va a comenzar a ver an enlargement of specific things in your life in 2022. Un ensanchamiento de cosas específicas en el 2022 en su vida. You will be extended. Usted va a ser extendido. The dimensions you know today. Las dimensiones que usted conoce hoy. The limits you know today. Los límites que conoce hoy. They will no longer be. Ya no van a estar. Because the limits will be taken off. Porque los límites van a ser removidos. Because you will be extended into new dimensions. Porque va a ser ensanchado a nuevas dimensiones. I don't know who I'm talking to today. Yo no sé a quién le estoy hablando. But there's some dimensions that we need to get into. Pero hay dimensiones en las cuales tenemos que entrar. There's some dimensions that we need to become aware of. Hay dimensiones que en las cuales tenemos que saber. And God is going to begin to open doors. Y Dios va a comenzar a abrir puertas. Because He's going to enlarge you. Porque te va a ensanchar. You're going to step into new dimensions. You're going to cross over limits because you won't even notice they're there anymore. You know, if you were the one that was held back all the time because fear would hold you back. You know that dark shadow called fear. Every time you move, you think something's going to happen. 
every time you move you think you can't be successful every time you get a job something happens there's excuse after excuse after excuse and it's the dark shadow called fear and God says he's going to enlarge your heart and he's going to remove fear from your heart some of you will get an augmentation that means things will be added to you you might have an anointing to heal you might have an administration anointing God is going to augment that in other words if you were able to reach this step God is going to augment you so that you can reach the top of the steps God is going to give you something that's going to cause you to reach places that you've never been able to reach am I talking to somebody tonight is somebody feeling that they're going to reach something they haven't reached he wants to augment you he wants to give an expansion to you he wants to add to your life there's going to be some of you are going to see a length it's as if though every time you walk the path is real narrow you know you always feel like man if I just make one wrong move I'm done I'm, I'm done but God is saying he's going to cause that narrow path to be widened and as it widens it will increase your influence and as it increases your influence and you will see it because that which is enlarged will become apparent in your life there will be an enlargement of the sum or the amount of prosperity in your life so whatever you've been used to whatever you've experienced as far as prosperity there will be an increase in the amount in your life you, you will begin to see the more you will have more than enough because God is going to enlarge you He's going to add to what you've already collected. He's going to add to what you've already accumulated. Because he's going to enlarge your heart. He's going to enlarge your heart. You know, when God begins to enlarge your heart, you begin to obey his commandments. So the scripture says, I will run the course of your commandments. Say that with me. I will run the course of your commandments. Come on, say it, say it, say it. Y'all need to learn how to obey. If you can't obey this loud voice that you can hear very clearly right now, you're going to have trouble obeying God. Come on, say it. I will obey. I will run the course of your commandments. All right, this side got it. What about this side? I will run the course of your commandments. Okay, that suena un poquito más, pero se tiene que mejorar. You guys gotta get better. So he wants to, in, in order for you to run the course of his commandments, he has to enlarge your heart. He has to enlarge your heart. Your heart has to be enlarged. The reason why people can't run the course of his commandments is because God is small in their heart. And when God is small in your heart, y Dios es en tu corazón, if he's small in your heart, si es en tu corazón, all of this, todo esto, the rest of your heart, el resto de tu corazón, is following the course of somebody else's commandment. Está el curso del de otra he wants to enlarge your heart. Él tu so he specifically told me, Así que me dijo, that he's going to enlarge our hearts. Que va a through the enlargement of revelation a través del ensanchamiento de la revelación. through the enlargement of revelation a través de la revelación. and revelation y la revelación will begin to cause an understanding va a comenzar a causar un entendimiento of knowledge del conocimiento in and of the kingdom en y en el reino to walk in 
wisdom. Para poder How many en of you want to walk in wisdom? De en 2022, el 2022, God's going to enlarge your heart. Dios va a tu and corazón. you're going to walk in wisdom like you've never walked in wisdom y before. Vas a en como nunca I'm telling you, caminado. I heard it clear as day. Le digo que lo the Lord told me where there was no revelation, el Señor me dijo donde no había revelación, where the word was a mystery to them, la un para I ellos. will enlarge their hearts Yo voy a su and corazón. they will begin to understand what they never understood and they will be able to walk it out and the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord so when you have revelation you got to buckle down in the fear of the Lord and you've got to obey what you know so he's going to enlarge our revelation I'm telling you what you could not understand some of you what you could not understand for the last seven years God is going to turn it around God is going to turn it around God is going to turn it around look at your neighbor tell your neighbor God's going to turn it around God's going to turn it around come on come on do you believe that God's going to turn it around tell him he's going to enlarge my revelation He's going to enlarge my revelation. That's number one. We got to hurry because New Year's is coming soon. <laughs> Number two, Primero dos. God is going to enlarge our hearts Dios va a nuestro corazón through an enlargement of freedom. A través de un ensanchamiento de libertad. You, you see, when you begin to walk out the revelation that He's going to give you, cuando usted comienza a caminar la revelación que él te va a dar, you're going to begin to walk in a new level of freedom. Vas a comenzar a poder a caminar un nuevo nivel And so de the libertad. freedom you know today, entonces la libertad que tú conoces is hoy, not the, let me get a. a It's not the freedom you're going to know in, in 2022. I don't care what you know today as far as freedom. No me importa lo que tú conoces hoy en día acerca de la libertad. I don't care. No me importa. But in 2022, porque en el 2022, there will be a new freedom. Va a haber una nueva libertad. There will be a new freedom. Va a haber una nueva libertad. There will be a new freedom. Va a haber una nueva libertad. And let me tell you what that freedom's going to do. Y déjeme decirle lo que esa libertad va a hacer. It's going to bring forth a release from any confinement. Va a traer un desatar de cualquier cosa que lo haga any confinement that's been holding you back from the plans of God in your life and it's going to bring forth deliverance it's going to bring forth miracles I'm telling you miracles miracles why? because you're going to have a revelation you're just going to know something is supposed to happen that is a revelation You don't know why you know. No sabe por qué lo you sabes. look around the room and say, everybody gonna think I'm crazy. But you know that you know that you know that you know that you're supposed to do something because something's gonna happen. That's revelation. And what revelation does is gonna provoke you to a new level of freedom. The question is, will you obey God? Will you walk out the revelation? Because if you don't walk out the revelation, then you won't experience the freedom. Because not only does he want to set you free, but he wants to set the person free that you've come in contact with. That's what he's going to start doing in 2022. He's going to enlarge your revelation so that he can enlarge your freedom. And your freedom will cause others to be set free will cause others to be set free I'm telling you you obey God and God will use you everywhere you go God will reveal things to you that you didn't even know were, you didn't even know could happen because he will enlarge your revelation he will enlarge your freedom and he will enlarge your prosperity those are the three things that God gave me 
sucedió. Now, now prosperity Ahora la prosperidad will bring forth an increase va a traer un incremento to one's benevolence a la benevolencia de alguien. to one's level of charity. A, al nivel de amor de you uno. see, God doesn't bless you and enlarge you pro with prosperity Dios no te bendice y te ensancha con la prosperidad until he knows that you're willing to give it. Hasta que él sepa que tú estés dispuesto until a darlo. he knows that you're willing to, to give Hasta que tú estés dispuesto a to dar. be a blessing. A ser una bendición. But what the Lord told me Pero lo que el Señor me dijo was that prosperity fue que la was going to come especially in the area of obedience. Iba a venir especialmente en el área de la obediencia. See, because we always think of prosperity Porque siempre pensamos en la prosperidad in the form of money. En la forma de dinero. In the form of money. En la forma de dinero. But God told me Pero Dios that me dijo, it, I'm, I'm reading my notes. Estoy leyendo mis notas. Because I'm telling you. Porque le digo, he's been talking to me about this. Me ha estado hablando acerca And he esto. said especially me dijo especialmente in the area of obedience to God en el área de obediencia and a Dios, giving to his kingdom. Y en dar a su reino. He wants to enlarge your prosperity. Quiere ensanchar tu prosperidad. God is going to do it. Dios lo va a hacer. How is he going to do it? ¿Y cómo lo va a hacer? Well, we've got to increase our personal prayer time. Pues tenemos que incrementar nuestra vida de oración. We've got to increase our personal prayer time. Tenemos que incrementar nuestra oración personal. So one personal. of the things we're going to do in 2022. Una de las cosas que vamos a hacer en el 2022. Is, uh, starting on January 10th. Comenzando el 10 de enero. Every Monday. Todos los lunes. At 8 a.m. A las 8 de la mañana. We're going to have a prayer call. Vamos a tener una llamada de we'll oración. And we'll get that. We'll get all the information out on that soon. Y vamos a sacar toda esa información pronto. Why are we doing a prayer call? ¿Por qué estamos haciendo una llamada telefónica de oración? Why wouldn't we just keep coming to church on Tuesday night? ¿Por qué mejor no venimos because I need to get you to start praying at home because I need you to start releasing life from your tongue at home because God, because God wants to start creating the habit of you praying at home so he told me start a prayer line and people will pray at home and they'll begin to fill their homes with the life of God con la vida de Dios. Because as prophet prays over the prayer line, porque así como la profeta va a orar en la línea telefónica, o yo voy a orar a veces, or if we choose a leader to do it, o si escogemos a un líder hacerlo, what they speak is going to be released in your home. Lo que ellos van a hablar va a ser desatado en su casa. And some of you need some like some words of life released in your home right now. Y algunos de ustedes necesitan vida desatadas en sus hogares. And then we're going to take our Tuesday night prayer night. De ahí vamos a tomar nuestro martes de oración. And we're just going to have it on the second Tuesday. Tuesday of every month. Y lo vamos a hacer cada segundo martes de cada mes. So the second Tuesday of every month. Así que el segundo martes de cada mes. Come into the house of the Lord. Vamos a venir a la casa del Señor. The worship team will be here. El el grupo de alabanza va a estar aquí. We've already talked to the dance ministry. Ya hablamos con el ministerio de danza. Because they'll be here. Porque van a estar aquí. And we're going to come together. Y nos vamos a unir. And we're going to pray for the things that God has laid out for redemption. Y vamos a orar por la cosa que Dios ha puesto para redención. But we're going to start praying at home. Pero vamos a comenzar a orar en la casa. We're going to start I'm telling you. Digo, We're going to start praying at home. Vamos a comenzar a orar en la casa. Some of you will receive on that prayer line. Algunos de ustedes van a recibir a través de esa llamada. To the point where the prayer call will finish. Al punto en que la llamada va a terminar. But you will catch it. Pero usted lo va a and coger. You, and you will keep praying in your house. Y va a continuar orando en su and casa. And all of a sudden. Y de repente. You're going to develop an atmosphere. Va a comenzar a desarrollar una atmósfera. That when people come to your home. Que cuando la gente venga a su casa. There'll be an enlargement of revelation. Va a haber un ensanchamiento de you'll revelación. You'll be able to see into their hearts. Va a poder usted ver en su corazón. You'll be able to read what's going on in their life and you'll be enlarged with freedom to release that word and because it will be so spot on just because you started praying in your house that that person will be set free and delivered you can ask my wife I've had people come to my house and I just sit at my dining room table with them me siento en la mesa con ellos. and I start talking to them y comienzo a hablar con ellos. and they start throwing up y comienzan a vomitar. they start manifesting comienzan a manifestarse. and I gotta do deliverance right there y tengo que hacer liberación ahí mismo. that's what's gonna start happening in your home I'm telling you Le digo, I'm, I'm not a liar no soy un mentiroso. do you believe that? Lo cree. And, I'm, and, and, and listen to me and when you start doing that y cuando usted comience a hacer eso, when you start doing that cuando usted comience a hacer eso, there will be an enlargement of prosperity va a haber un ensanchamiento de prosperidad.
start revival awakened by your spirit burning with holy fire so we call out to the captives the sick and the blind the prison doors are 